So the big buzzword around the industry at the moment is bi-directional, okay? Now simply put, bi-directional devices, requirements for bi-directional RCBOs, what does it actually mean? When do we actually need them? Who actually makes them? Is becoming a topic that you guys are perpetuating around the industry. So let me help you guys understand it just a little bit better. Because as per usual, there's an awful lot of propaganda, marketing and blah, 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 that is creating a bit of gray around there. And the entire topic, to be honest, is getting a little bit messy. So the IET announced this week that they're gonna push through an amendment three to BS 7671 which is specifically for this one topic. That's right, they're only making one amendment to the entire regs, which they're pushing, pushing through, okay, in a rapid time. There's usually a 12-week review period. This time, it's only four. They think it is a matter of urgency that we understand uh, the, the importance of bidirectional devices to that level. Now, notice I said bidire bidirectional uh, protection devices okay rather than bidirectional rcbos and there's a reason for that okay so what is a bidirectional protection device so for those who are, aren't sure yet so a bidirectional device is a device a protective device that can obviously protect a circuit with current flow traveling in both directions okay so if a bidirectional device is protecting current flow going in both directions. A unidirectional device is one that can only protect it in a singular direction, which is a traditional method when fitting RCBOs into an installation. So 99.9999999999% of you would have, who are doing domestic installations and are not even remotely thinking about PV installations, you can go and watch another video we've done on a product or something else right now. Okay, all jokes aside, you will never come across a requirement really for a bi-directional device because your current flow will always be going in a traditional manner through the RCBO into the circuit, can be buzz bar fed, everything cushy, and this topic is just a lot of white noise. For those of you that have delved into the PV world, slightly different. Okay, you will be coming across situations where current flow is going in both directions. Okay, so traditionally with a PV installation, do you need a bidirectional can you use unidirectional devices well the answer is yes and yes you can use unidirectional devices and you will need bidirectional devices it all depends on the kit that you're fitting okay so if we dig into that a little bit deeper i can unpack it slightly and then you can see where the gray is starting to come through first things first how do you identify a unidirectional device from a bidirectional device simply put they're marked okay Actually, let me rephrase that. Simply put, a bidirectional device is unmarked, whereas a unidirectional device is clearly marked and has traditionally been so for a number of years at this point. Okay, so if you have a look at our MCB, for example, in this picture here, you'll notice there is no markings to indicate line in and out. Okay, which means it can go either end, both ways, or bidirectional. Okay, now if you look at these illustrations I've created here, okay, with our new branding on them, you'll notice that there's different types of markings, all indicating which way is in and which way is out. Now, these ones I've illustrated here, and don't get me wrong, these aren't our markings, these are just a bit of an illustration for you guys, they're different types of markings you might find, show a clear indication of in and out, and therefore become a unidirectional device. Okay, so that's a clear way of looking at it. Now, I've seen the IET's uh, presentation and what they've put out to um, to general public for review. Now, the one thing they are stipulating, okay, looking at it, is that AFDDs, RCDs or RCCBs, okay, and RCBOs that are traditionally unidirectional are also now clearly marked when they are bidirectional, okay? So that will look like it will form part of the BSEN standard of that device, okay? So it'll have to be clearly indicated from now on because I think there is gonna continue to be a confusion about it, which makes sense, okay? Good addition. So at the moment though, if a device is not marked, that means it can handle it. And if it is marked, then you know which direction it should be traveling in. Now, if you're not sure, contact the manufacturer is the easiest way to do it if they don't know please use a different manufacturer right okay so moving moving on from there okay can you like i said can you use a unidirectional device uh, on a pv installation the answer is yes it just depends on the gear that you're using for example if you're using a battery system 
okay, or a hybrid inverter which obviously has an integral battery system in it, you're probably going to be looking at some form of bi-directional device on that, okay, especially if you're going back to the grid, off-grid, you've got a lot of different directional currents to think about, okay, and in this instance, you would need a bi-directional protection device, okay. Now, notice how I did not say RCBO. So for all of those of you panicking and all the other manufacturers watching thinking we don't have a bi-directional RCBO, don't worry, neither do we. And up until 10 minutes ago, we didn't really need one, okay? In my opinion, do you need one now? Maybe it's for a convenience perspective, but I don't think it is a um, overall requirement to ensure that you can keep your install safe. Now let's dig into that a little bit more. So if you can't access a bi-directional RCBO, what other solutions do you have? Well, first off, the first thing you need to do is understand one, the type of product you're fitting, and does it need additional RCD protection on it? Two, how, what's your cabling method? Okay, and couple that with your overall design. Put that together, now you'll immediately understand whether you need RCD protection on that circuit. Now, if you don't need RCD protection, then immediately the requirement for a bi-directional RCBO evaporates. Right, now, should you not need it, guess what? Your trusty MCB that you have been using and become accustomed to for a millennia, <laughs> what it feels like anyway, is not, well, there is a huge percentage of uh, MCBs on the market that are bi-directional as standard, okay? So just get comfortable fitting your trusty old MCB. It will cover you for most of these types of installations. So what happens then, what happens then if hang on, I do need RCD protection on this circuit. My manufacturer doesn't have a bi-directional RCBO, or you don't have the extra 25, 30 quid in the budget to put one in. What do you do then? Well, very simply put, you go back to the future and you align your bi-directional MCB with a minimum of a type A RCCB, okay, which is a traditional method of doing it, and you align it and then you have your RCD protection on your PV circuits, giving you your RCD protection on a bi-directional protection device, which is the MCB, okay? So for example, this unit here has a 63 amp type A RCD in it, which will give you protection on DC, for DC leakage up to six milliamp of pulsating DC, okay? These MCBs here, which you can see here are connected through a buzz bar, would be bi-directional, which you can then fit into your circuits and give you that protection. Then you have your surge kit here. Now, this is a standard product for us, and guess what? Very, very popular with PV installers. Now, the other one we do, if you have a situation where your DC leakage smooths out, which is actually quite common, you need a Type B device. And we hit a Type B device on here with your, uh, with your AC MCBs, still giving you the same protection. Some of you may have seen our new Helios board, which is a PB specific board, which has a rotary isolator in it, an MID meter, and some other bits and bobs just for your um, just for your PV installs. And guess what? It has the MCBs in it because they're bi-directional as well. So there are plenty of ways and methods of getting your PV installs up there without panicking about the requirement for an RCBO. But the reason this has been rushed through is because people didn't realize that these RCBOs weren't designed in the same methodology as the MCBs you got used to on your old PV installs. So back in the day when we were fitting split load boards or just RCD boards, those MCBs we were using for those PV installs, guess what? They were bi-directional then, which is why it wasn't an issue then, which is also why you don't have to go back and rip out everything that was already done because chances are it works absolutely fine. The reason is because the regulations state that we should be fitting RCBOs and RCBOs for the most part, like RCDs and AFDDs as well, are not bi-directional. I hope you found this really helpful. Uh, if you've got any questions, of course, just give us a shout, uh, pop us a message on Instagram, it's usually the easiest way, or give us a call, have a look at our new website, come back through there, any way you can get in touch with us, we'll be happy to help. And until next time, guys, thank you very much, and see you soon.